Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today we are gonna be grooming the foals and what, really Ezzy? And working on shedding them out. So they're obviously shedding naturally, right? We're not doing anything extreme. We're just gonna groom them because they have a bunch of loose hair because they are blowing their baby full coats. Are you guys excited? I cannot wait to show you their bodies and their colors. They are changing so much. It is incredible. We're also going to talk about their colors, how we know what their actual colors are and you know why they change and why they shed their coats and all of that information too. So this is going to be a super fun educational grooming video and I cannot wait to show you. So I got my grooming bag here, little sunflowers. So cute. You guys, right? look it. They are just so precious. So we're actually gonna be tying them. I'm gonna be grooming them in the paddock. Luckily, it has dried up quite a bit, which makes me so happy. They're not just standing in mud. And very soon, they're all gonna be going out to pasture. So the grass has to grow a little bit more before that happens. But yeah, so we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna tie them and we're gonna get to work. I am gonna get messy today. Like, <laughs> hair is gonna be flying. Really, Ezzy? No, do not pull this away. <laughs> all right, let's get going. So I am by myself today, which is why like nobody's home today, which is why I wanted to groom them in the paddock. Um, just in case something were to happen, they're in an enclosed area. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm going to tie them. These posts are all concreted in, like they are very heavy duty. So we're just gonna wrap twine around them and halter these girls and tie them. And yeah, we've been doing a little bit of tie training. You've seen Ariel's been tied before. As he's been tied once, I posted a short video on it on my TikTok page. So you're gonna get to see that today. Ariel, you're so curious. Look at you look like you have mange right now. You gotta shed that coat out. We are gonna, there's gonna be some some fur balls today. <laughs> As he's a little better, but she's got a lot to shed too. So horses shed naturally because once there's more sunlight and it's warmer out, they start to shed their winter coats, okay? And it's mainly based off the amount of sunlight they're getting, not just the temperature. Can you quit eating the tripod? Thank you. Ariel, I think, has a lot thicker coat because of the geographical location she came from, which was Manitoba, Canada, and it's very, very cold there. Like, it doesn't even compare to southeast Michigan. Even though we get cold and we get snow, it's a lot colder there. And also, breed can affect that, too. She's a draft breed. I mean, Ezzy is, too. But Ezzy was born here, and it didn't even get that cold this winter, which is crazy. That's why I think Esmeralda doesn't have as thick of a coat. So just kind of talking about that a little bit. Okay, so I'm tying the twine. They're going to be a couple posts apart from each other. Hi, you guys are so curious. It's not even funny now. You guys are crazy. Trouble, 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 trouble. But that's why we do these things, because we got to make you good girls. Ezzy, get your nose out of here. I got to get everything ready. You guys, they follow me everywhere. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's get your halters on and tie you. Okay, so I've already talked a bit about tie training and we're gonna go over that again. And I think, really, what are you doing? And I think this is gonna be a really great, not only a grooming session, but a really good tie training exercise. And I will talk about my methodologies and why I'm doing what I'm doing and how <laughs> this is beneficial for them, not only for grooming, but for tying. And <laughs> Really? And basic handling skills too. So both Ariel, oh my gosh, you got so much hair loose. And Ezzy are tied. And this is very important, okay? So they are tied to twine. If there was a massive emergency, the twine is gonna break. Never tie a baby horse or a horse in general to something that's not gonna break. There are only extreme circumstances where you would tie a horse to something that doesn't break. And that would be like if they had a serious tying issue, but we're not even gonna get into that. But basically the reason it's so important is they have a nuchal ligament that runs up their neck, which is responsible anatomically for allowing them to lift their head. Horses are designed to do two things, put their head down to graze and put their head up and run. The nuchal ligament is what helps them with that. And if that is damaged, the horse is screwed. So if they were to pull back hard enough on something that would not break, it could damage the nuchal ligament and you would have issues. So they are both tied with quick release knots, which means I could just pull it and release it and to twine. Ariel's being a really good girl about being tied and then Ezzy is tied over here as well. Ezzy, what you doing? She's being good about it. And again, this is only Ezzy's second time and Ariel's third time being tied. And they're spaced far enough apart where they're with each other, but it's not gonna, <laughs> look at you. It's not gonna cause a major issue, right? Like they can move away from each other, but they still have each other. And these guys are babies. Babies, babies, okay? Ezzy is not even 10 months old yet. And Ariel 
is 11 months. So yeah, I cannot stress enough how important it is to teach your horse to tie. That is a basic life skill. Now, I've been doing a lot of prep work with them for tying. This isn't just willy nilly, okay? So I've been looping the lead rope over the fence to give them the idea of tying, but grooming them and all of that. And this is the first time they're like really having to kind of stand there while I'm not messing with them every second. And we're not gonna do a super long session either, right? This has been built up in increments and we're gonna be doing a lot of grooming. I'm gonna be giving them treats as rewards, but tying is an essential skill. And even as a younger horse, as a foal, they need to understand that. Now I waited till their necks were a little more developed to actually tie them. And like I said, they're nine as he's almost 10 months old. And then Ariel is 11 months old. She'll be a year May 1st. So I think this is a really good opportunity and it works out perfect because there's no other horses in here. Like obviously that would be dangerous if I had loose horses in here, but it's both of them. So they have each other, but they're still apart, right? And what I did the first time I tied them, it was a really, really short session. And then I was grooming them and I would walk away. Okay, I would actually completely move myself far away from them so they could actually understand tying. And today we're gonna be, of course, grooming and shedding them out, seeing their beautiful coats and watch them with their tie training. Okay, you guys are standing pretty nice here. So let's get started with grooming. Can you move your butt? Thank you. Grab the grooming bag. I knew you guys would throw it all over the place if I just had it there. All right, Ariel, my gosh. So like I was saying before, this is insane. Shedding is very natural. And again, she had a fluffier coat because of where she came from, which was Manitoba, Canada, where like I said, it was way colder. But look at how much hair is coming up. So we're not doing anything unnatural. We're just helping getting all this loose hair off of her. And I know a lot of you use a shedding tool. I just want to use this brush today. Oh, it's like blowing in your face. <laughs> Already getting hair in my mouth. Yeah, as you got to learn some patience. I'm just going to not mess with her. And obviously I'm right here monitoring them at all times. Like not just like leaving the paddock. So Ariel's color is Bay Roan. Okay. So some Bay Roans can look a lot different. You can see all of her white coming in and then she has red. So her head is like the bayish red color and Roans can really change over time. So I don't know what she'll always end up looking like. They change their whole life. They change throughout the seasons. Over the winter, she literally looked like a bay. It was crazy, but now all this white is coming and it's nuts. She looks really cool. Like when she's moving, cause she has black legs. It's just beautiful. Okay, we're gonna give Ariel a little break and come over to Ezzy for some attention. Yeah, you don't have nearly the fluff that your sister does. This is insane though, like what she has going on. Like look at the hair that blew in. They're gonna think like a rabbit was injured or something. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, Ezzy. Now, Ezzy's base color is buckskin, but she has the gray variant, okay? And the reason I know her true color is because you can color test them. So her base color is buckskin, but because she has the gray mutation, she's going gray. So she's a buckskin going gray. And I don't know what she's gonna look like when she's completely shut out, but I mean, I think it's pretty much looking like this. And she will change, and then she might be completely white someday. Um, Cause she does have W20 in her colors as well. And I do have videos if you haven't seen them talking in depth about Ezzy's colors and all that. Oh, you happy now you getting attention. You just want attention. Gosh forbid you have to stand by yourself for a little bit, but it's good we learn this now, Ezzy. It is good to learn this now. Okay, you're about to see some hair just flying on this girl. Over the last few weeks, Ariel has completely changed her demeanor. She runs to the fence anytime somebody comes up. She follows me all over the paddock. She is looking for scratches, love, and attention. And I think that is fabulous because I purchased her at the end of September in 2023 and she was completely unhandled. She was very shy and reserved. So to see her actually 
really come out of her shell and become so much more vibrant is incredible. This is absolutely crazy, her hair. All right, Ezzy, we're coming to you in a second, okay? You're gonna go, girl. So I think I'm gonna do this half of Ariel, then Ezzy. Ariel is a lot more work. She has more hair to shed. Obviously, we're not gonna get all of it today, but get a decent amount out of here. Okay, let's get Ezzy. Oh my gosh, nobody paying attention to you. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, but Esmeralda was born on my farm. So she was born June 16th, and then a few months later, I purchased Ariel from the auction. Esmeralda and Ariel are my first foals, so this has been a really interesting and immersive experience. Okay, we gotta get this side of Ariel now, which is more dirty and lots of hair. Being able to raise Ariel and Esmeralda has taken my horsemanship to another level and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. In regards to their breeding, so Ariel is a Brabant, which is a draft type horse, quarter horse cross, and then Esmeralda is a Belgian Clydesdale saddlebred cross. So they are both draft cross mares and I have no idea how tall they're actually going to be or what their body types will be when they are really filled out. It takes horses several years to develop but it's gonna be fun to see them grow, change as we have been. Oh my gosh, look at this. this, is insane, this is crazy. So some of this you're seeing, I mean like this is like a dirt spot, but this is her red also like shedding out. It's nuts. Now it's not gonna be a completely perfect shed out. We're just aiding her, but yeah, she had a lot of loose hair and I think she is thoroughly enjoying this and it's got to feel better to get all that fluff off. I mean it's hot out. It's been like 70 degrees. Now I'm trying to get some of this you know armpit and tummy hair off but you know I'm gonna let it get a little bit looser. She's been really good. I know. I'm coming over to you. As he's been okay a little impatient but this is good training for her. So we pretty much got as much loose hair as we're going to get today. Um, and then I'm just going to like spray them, brush their manes and tails, pick their hooves, the normal grooming stuff. I got hair in the back of my throat. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane, girl. But you are looking lovely. So horses naturally um, obviously lose their coat in the spring and summer, but they also lose a little bit of weight to reset their metabolism. And I think both of these girls are great weights, right? Like they're babies. She is not skinny. She's not fat. They'll get more muscle, especially Ariel. As you just jump. But no, I'm very happy with their weights and all of that. Yes. Should we show them how you take treats? Yeah? Let's show them. She finally started taking treats. And now that she knows, she's like, oh yes. You're doing good. Ezzy. What are you doing? All right, it's your turn. Let's get a little more on this side again. Then we gotta go to your other side. You being good, Ariel? You guys just want attention. That's all it is. Okay. Move your butt, please. I need to get on this side. Good girl. Hi. Yeah, you're not shedding nearly as much. Because she already... She kind of like slowly blew her coat. Like as we were going. Where Ariel just decided, okay, I'm going to blow it all the last minute. But honestly, Ezzy, you're doing really good with tie training. Here, what's on your eye? Boogies? Okay. You're doing really well. All this junk. I know, I'm not asking you to pick up your foot. We're going to have to hose that. 
Not today, but later. Okay, we're gonna do some spray, okay? Just gonna spray your whole coat. Good girl! Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna... The problem with her is, like, because she has so much more, like, feather, it, like, tugs and pulls when because it, it's clay. So, Ariel has less, so she doesn't mind as much, but it hurts Ezzy, so it's better just to, when it's like this, just to hose it. But we're supposed to get rain tomorrow, so I kind of don't want to. Are you being good over there? You're eating the twine? Okay, that's fine. My goal with the foals over the next couple years is to, again, work on picking up their hooves, which they already do that for the farrier and all of that, tying, loading in a trailer, more bathing, ponying, maybe going on the trails by ponying, which means I'm riding another horse and leading them and, you know, just enjoying them. Just because I won't be able to ride the foals for a while doesn't mean they require any less training. It is a different approach. And I do feel as though it is slightly less time consuming, but it is also very time consuming because you're working with them every day in smaller increments. You can see her dapples are gonna come out. You are looking gorgeous, girl. She is so big, it's crazy. Okay, now we're gonna pick Ariel's hooves. You already got this one relaxed. Ariel's personality is very gentle and calm and willing, where Ezzy is also gentle, but she's a little more spicy. It's just crazy to me. Like when I first purchased Ariel, she was scared to death of being touched. She would actually pin her ears and kind of turn her butt towards you, but that's because she had a lack of understanding. I really do not believe that horses are mean. They just can't think like that. However, due to their experiences and their trauma, they can react certain ways. Let's do one last brush through with Ariel and then they've been really good so I don't want to keep them tied for that much longer and then we'll talk. Okay, so obviously she's not groomed perfectly but the whole point was to shed her out more and I definitely think um, we accomplished that. Yes, we did. Look at you, it's crazy. Seriously, they both did phenomenal tying. I know I said I've tied them before, but this was like their first true, like you're standing tied for longer than like 10 minutes, okay? This whole grooming process. I know, I'm untying you soon. You did really good, but they need to learn this, okay? Like they really do. And they're old enough that they can do this in longer increments. They were both awesome with tying, awesome with grooming. I'm very, very proud of them. So let's get them out of the halters and we'll talk a little more. I also want to show um, Ariel's stripe down her back. Look at this dorsal stripe. Isn't that cool? Looks pretty. As he used to have one, but it's gone. Okay, okay. Hold on a minute. You are a silly girl, but you're so pretty. All right, I'm gonna untie Ariel first. You girls were amazing. Look at. Do you both feel better? Ezzy. Ezzy, you be nice to your sister. Is she being mean? You know what though? Ariel's been getting after her though. Okay, but look, like it's crazy the contrast between her head, <laughs> I know, and her body, like the white. You have really come out of your shell, girl. I mean, she runs over to the fence anytime someone's here. Like she just wants to be with you. You just want to be with people, baby. <gasps> Hi. Oh, you're going to be so cool. You already are cool. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're older, like their exact colors and like what their body type is gonna be. And again, like I said, I actually got them registered. I have registration papers in hand. We're gonna be talking all about that very soon. I just have been so, so busy, but I'm gonna be um, talking about that. And yeah, you guys are gonna love it. It is just so cool that they're registered. So these two, so Esmeralda and Ariel plus Lumia. So they're all under the same registry, but they're in different categories. So look at, you're just a big puppy dog. Where I go, Ariel goes. And Ezzy, of course. You be nice. Oh, good girl. I know, she's like, well, if you're standing there, 
Why could I not come over? Well, you two are humongo. Big babies. But yeah, I mean, they're not even yearlings yet, which is crazy. So typically, once they're 12 months old, they'll be considered yearlings. Like right now, they're foals, weanlings, and they can be called fillies up until they're four. So yeah. Gosh, your color is just so freaking cool. Like the black legs and her dark head and light body, black mane and tail. And Ezzy, I just love Ezzy's build. Like look how long her legs are getting and her mane and her feathering and her beard. It just got all wet because she just got a drink. So it's hard to see, but it's so thick. Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's just a ham now. You can't handle it. But seriously, now if I'm petting Ezzy, Ariel's the same way Ezzy used to be. Like, she'll come over and, um, you know, got a hair in my eye. Bound to happen. Oh my goodness. What? What crazy girl? But it's really nice that they just, like, want attention and, oh, is that hard work, girl? Was that hard work? We're gonna have to bust out the fly spray. It's, I saw a couple. Yeah. Well, this was super fun. We definitely got <laughs> the shed out with uh, Ariel over there. Oh my gosh, Ezzy. I know, you're a ham too. My sweet baby girl. Look at her. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so snuggy. She's so snuggy and sweet. My oh, baby girl. Big old head girl. Yes. I can't wait to tell you their registered names, too. You're going to love them. Okay, we're not running to the gate when I walk over here. If, like, I walk away and they notice, they'll, like, run over because they want attention. Yes, you can walk over. A lot of you have been asking, when is Esmeralda going to go back with Belle? And when are they going to be with Lumiere and the other geldings? Well, the thing is, it's still only been two months since weaning. I am going to put the foals in the side paddock and put Belle out here. So, you know, like for a week, I'm going to rotate them. And then once the big pasture is open, more time will have passed. And I'm pretty sure Belle will be able to be back in with Ezzy. I don't feel quite comfortable putting Lumiere in with the foals just because he's been awesome with the geldings, but he does seem really interested in the mares and they're super young. So I just don't really want to do that right now. So I'm going to keep them separate until they're bigger and kind of see how that goes. And yeah, so Ezzy and her will be reunited. I just think it needs a little more time. Like it's only been a little over two months. So but I got a plan. I got to get Belle out of that side paddock. I mean, I've been working her and doing stuff with her. I mean, she's not just sitting there. You know what I mean? But yeah, I want to get her out here, let her run. And yeah, can't wait for the pastures to open back up and see the horses and the grass and watch them run. It's just amazing. Also, horse lovers, today I'm wearing my two-point tint, tinted lip balm, because I knew that they were going to shed and have all this hair everywhere. So I wanted to wear something that wasn't sticky. It's just a nice, neutral, smooth, everyday color. And it's sort of like a peachy pink and it is hydrating and moisturizing. And I literally wear this constantly. So if you want more than just chapstick with like a little bit of tint, two point tint is the way to go. I also just want to say thank you so much for the support with the Blush for Belle campaign. So Belle is Esmeralda's mom and oh my gosh, like I just can't even believe it. I, I am completely in awe of your support. Like it is phenomenal. So as you know, like we have the blush and we also have a bronzer. So this is our Bridal Up Bronzer Dazzling Done. The blush is gonna sell out. Like once it's gone, it's gone. And we are pretty low and I ordered quite a bit of quantity, but the bronzer will be here for good. However, it is just perfect for that spring summer look. So if you wanna check that out, you can go to the Spirited Horse Boutique, link in the comments in the description. That is the best way to support Free Spirit Equestrian. Thank you again, horse lovers. All right, horse lovers, that was awesome. I had a lot of fun spending time with the foals. And again, that was like a training session, the tying and then the grooming and watching them like shed out, especially Ariel. I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of relaxing and fun and hopefully you learned something today. So if you like Free Spirit Equestrian, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye.